In the previous videos, we imported these two guys, T Kinter and SQLite 3. We then defined our class. We defined our constructor. And then we defined our button. Button number one opened up the database. And then we packed it in. Button number two created the table. And then we packed that in so we can see it, of course. Button number three closed the database that we just created. I put DB create table there. <laughs> it didn't look good. <laughs> Let me close the DBase. That looks better. And then we also made three functions. For the open database button, we created this function, which would cause SQLite 3 to connect to the MAD database. Then we defined the table function, tabla, which created this table structure within the database. And then we defined the function close, fermer, which would close the database so it doesn't remain open in memory forever and ever and ever. Now the next thing we want to do, I'll go right here. I called this one button 3, and I'll make button 4 now. So the next one that we're going to do is button 4. Button 4 will insert a hard-coded record into the database. A what? A hard-coded record into the database. Now remember, I'm hard-coding the record only for didactic purposes. In a late teaching purposes, in a later lesson soon to come, we will create text boxes, fill them in with data, and, in, and insert them into the database. But first, we must see the simple techniques for doing this. And we must see it in as simple a way as possible. Then we can easily understand how to do this with text box and data. All right. So first I'm hard coding the record into the database. And every time I click the button, it will insert that hard coded record into the database. So we'll have many occurrences of the same record. But the technique for doing that is critical. OK, so that's our plan. Step one, here it comes. Self dot button four equals. I'm going to instantiate the button object. I'm going to put it on the frame, comma, space, uh, comma, space, line continuation character. So you can see this clearly on the screen. And then uh, text will equal. Insert rec, comma, space, insertion guard. So notice it's following the same pattern all the time. I'm putting it on the frame. I'm telling it what text to put onto the button. And then what command to execute every time you click on that button. The command equals space one continuation character, self.insertar. I'm going to make this method, this function, in a moment. But first I have to key in the pack command. Self, uh, button, button number four, oh, button four. Yes, take your silly self and pack your silly self onto the frame. Oh, really? What side? Well, the side I want you to pack yourself onto is the left side. And that's it. It will bump into the other buttons and stop when it can go no further. All right, that's our button, period. End of story. We're done with that button. Now let's create the function called insertar, a function, the method called insertar, which this button will call to do the job. And let's put it right down here, right underneath the fermer to close uh, function, that method. So define the method called insertar. Ah, oh, I did it again in uppercase. I'm so fired. Define the function, the uh, method in insertar. And it's called, of course, this is in yourself. Uh, self, uh, you know that... Uh, that cursor, you variable you got? Yes. Well, I want you to do something. 
it to do something. What do you want it to do? Execute a SQL command. Open friends. One, two, three. Now I can hit the enter key to my heart's desire. I don't have to worry about form, format, anything. Okie dokie. Let's put it about here. Here's my command. Uh, insert into the table's name was x, uh, lowercase a, x, x, x. The following values. Hit enter. Open up the parentheses. Kin value 1, comma. And I'll put in the a name of somebody I know. George, comma, and bull. Because we have ID, first name, and last name. That was in our structure that we created, our table structure we created. And that's what I'm going to send in there. Now, I can't stop here because I have to, this parens matches this parens, but now I have to match this with this guy. So, one, two, three, single quotes, and then what? Then the parens. Now it matches. Wow. That's it. I'm done. Now, one more time. Let me just quickly repeat this. So nobody, so nobody gets confused. And let me write this out too. Remember, I am hard coding the record, George Bull, only for didactic purposes, teaching purposes. In a later session, soon to come, I'll create text boxes, fill them in with data, insert them into the database, and there'll be anything you want to put into the, the text boxes. Put them into the database, and but first we must see the simple technique for doing this, and we must see it in as simple a way as possible. Then we can easily understand how to do this with text box data. Okay, that's why I'm doing this. So don't get upset when you see this, and oh no, this is garbage. This is no, no, this is technique. Just learning technique. Yes, we're having Python execute a SQL command to insert this data into the table. Okie dokie, time to run this baby. First, let's save it. I call this DB GUI X. File, save. Here we go. Cross your fingers. Run, run module, and oh, error. Oh, unindent. I know what happened. The problem was here. Look, I'm one character off. Okay, save. Run, run module. Ah, it worked. I open the database. It's open now. I now want to insert the record. I put in four records. Notice no errors over here. I close the database. That actually worked, but you see nothing. The next button I put over here will be the list records button, so that when I click on this button, it shows you immediately on the screen over here behind me where the cursor is going back and forth. It will immediately show you those records in your database. Okay, let's quickly put that button in. Click over here. Tab over. I'm right underneath the other button and I key in self. I want you to make another button. We'll call it button 5. That will be equal to... I want to instantiate the button object. Put it onto the frame. Comma, space, line continuation character, and text on the button will say list records, comma, space, line continuation character. Well, let's make the L capital. Looks better. Next is uh, the command. The command that it will be executed will be self.listr. That's a good name. List. Listr. List out all the records. Next thing, of course, I have to tell it to do is self. Uh, button 5, <coughs> take your silly self and pack it onto the frame. Oh, and uh, of course, remember, what side do you want to pack yourself to? The left side. And that's it. We now be done. To find list r self close friends colon C U R yes. This is what I want you to do. Take your silly self and execute this SQL command. What SQL command? Select star from 
XXX. Single quote. Close friends. Enter. All right. Then what? One more command and we're done. Print out the following. Uh, Kerr? Yes. Take your silly self. Yes. And go and fetch. Fetch what? All those records. That's it. Fetch all those records. Open close friends and then close friends. Well, that is it. We are done now. Okay, it's now time to run our, our database program. I click on Run, Run Module, and up it comes. I open up the database, I create the table, and now I list out a record. There are no records. Zero right now. So let's change that. Let's insert a record, and now list out the record. Oh, I got George Bull. <laughs> so notice, every time we do it, it starts from a new line. Okay, click on Insert Record again. Now I should have two of these one George Bull records. List records, I get two of them now. If I do it again, I'll get one, two, it'll wrap around to three. Insert Record and List Records. One, two and three. Wow. And that's about it. Everything is good. Let me now uh, close this database and it's done. Just wonderful. This is not the end of the series. I will make further changes to this program so that we can have variable data up on the screen and then write that to the database. Well, I want to thank all of you for listening. This is George Ball.